Welcome back on this Monday morning. So for the first portion of this week, it is still going to be cool and damp. By the midweek, we start to see things dry out and become a little bit milder. Then the end of the week will be more seasonal. We will have a little bit of rain be around on Saturday with another disturbance. So those are your highlights for this week. Today, cloudy, a little breezy. Iron Mountain looking at some lower 60s this afternoon. Here's what's happening. There's a cold front that's moving through. This is coupled with that trough I talked about about five minutes ago that's bringing in that cooler air. But this front is bringing in some scattered rain showers, especially across the central and the eastern areas of the UP, right? Along like Michigan, we're seeing some of those rain showers. Southern Marquette County now with that wind flow coming off of Lake Superior and out of the north and that cooler air, we could definitely still have some drizzle, especially in some of those higher elevations throughout the course of the day. So here's a closer look at that rain that's ongoing right now. Most of those rain showers, as I mentioned, are across the southern areas, eastern half of the UP. Places like Southern Marquette County, down into parts of Menominee County, into Delta County, Masonville, just east of Spalding along 35 through Cedarville. So aside from that, there are some beach hazard statements for Marquette and Alger counties today. With that wind flow in place, we could have some dangerous swimming conditions along those beaches. Here are the winds for the afternoon. It's wind gusts with ranges of 20 to 25 miles per hour off of Lake Superior. We will still have that breeze around for the overnight hours extending into tomorrow morning. So breezy today extending through Tuesday. Here's the hour by hour scattered rain showers for the basically the eastern half of the UP. This is one o'clock in the afternoon. So I mentioned with that wind flow still out of the north, we could still have some drizzle in some of those higher elevations. So here's 7 p.m. into the evening, still seeing some of those rain showers across the eastern half, not as much across the west. Tomorrow around midday, so tomorrow still dealing with some cloudy skies. Winds start to decrease. And we'll still have a few spotty rain showers. High pressure moves in for tomorrow night, extending into the midweek. Clouds will clear out by Wednesday morning. And we start off with some chilly conditions. We remain dry on Wednesday and Thursday. Rainfall mounts not a whole lot around a quarter of an inch of rain, but could push around half of an inch of rain across the east. High temperatures will remain below normal across the north with mid 50s to upper 50s across the northern areas. Lower 60s expected towards the south. Lows tonight into the 40s west with 50s east and then highs tomorrow for all of the UP for the most part into the 50s, so a little bit cooler for Tuesday as compared to today. We're back to more seasonal temperatures on Thursday with 70s across the West End and then more 70s on Friday.